Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to play some Pioneer in the interest of my sanity from Theros Beyond Death Limited. And uh, not this Sunday, next Sunday. Yes, that's correct. Uh, this that was this is from a conversation before you guys got here. I'm sorry. Um, this is a deck that Monsonster submitted to be played. He said he put it together in 20 minutes and he's like, uh, let's see, the exact words are, so take a look at it before you play it and make some changes if necessary. I think it actually looks fine. Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 one drops. I guess I could have just counted here, but I wanted to make sure they were all playable one drops and not like Path to Exile and stuff, right? So, um, and then... Uh, for two drops, we have four Raise the Alarm, two Lightning Strike, and four Boros Charm. The Raise the Alarm are nice because they can protect our Gideons, which the name of the deck is Gideon's Glory. So it's basically like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine Gideons. No, nah, man, more. I forgot about the one drops. Tw uh, 12 Gideons. And then three, or six rather. Oh, wow. This is great because you can make a Gideon emblem with Gideon of the Trials so you can't lose the game. And then you just play Glorious End to end their turn. And then take an extra turn, and then you don't lose the game because of Gideon. Oh, that's So we have fancy. six take an extra turn cards with our Gideons. And uh, other than that, four Boros Charm. So the deck is 12 Gideons, six take an extra turn cards, four Boros Charm, and a bunch of other nonsense. Um, so. Are uh, you drafting tonight? No, I already did two drafts. I went, uh, what, I, what was my record? 1 2 and then 0 oh, 2. Yeah, and then I wanted to uh, I wanted to blow my brains out. And uh, now I, I've decided to play some a Pioneer instead. We have three Rest in Peace, one more getting in the sideboard. Uh, two Shock, three Solar Blaze, two Insult to Injury, and four Wear Tire. Tireless Tractor, I'm actually driving to Denver from, from Florida. On I leave on Friday, I get there on Sunday, and then I'm leaving Monday morning, so going to play some constructed uh nope 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 uh nope two player queue let's do it we're playing the dandy oh the dandy you think his name is randy i don't think his name is randy the dandy because if it was that would be his username for sure hmm. do you think we keep this hand yeah Really? We can only play one thing? I'd snap it off. You get there. You don't need a red. You can get a white and then play raise the alarm. All right, man. Uh, it's about a three-day drive. Yeah, that's why I'm. That's why we're leaving on... I mean, three-day drive, is assuming you're driving like eight to ten hours a day. And I also don't like driving at night. Just a personal preference. In, in areas I'm comfortable with and I'm familiar with, I do. I don't mind, but... If it's just like an unknown area to me, I really, I just, I'm not a big driving at night fan, especially because most of the roads are back roads with no street lights. So you're just in pitch darkness and hoping that like, wow, that's huh. something right there. I didn't expect that to happen. Hey, beep, beep. that would be handy if his name was Randy. <laughs> oh, it could be, it could be a woman named Mandy as well. Making a treasure, making a treasure, such a treasure, we're making a treasure. May I ask S Senior Mike Boy? What about Junior Mike Boy? Who's Senior Mike? That's your dad. Oh, please, my father is Senior Mike Boy. <laughs> Call me Junior Mike Boy. You need an attack, man? So they could trade here? Why would I trade my their 1-1 one, one for my 1-1 one, one that also draws me multiple? Jesus, they just don't like these Gideons. <laughs> Why you gotta be a hater, man? Oh, God. One, do you prefer saltwater taffy or laffy taffy? I like a good saltwater taffy. Hmm. I think I do, too. I think laffy taffy is too sweet. Uh, too refried beans or baked beans? Oh, that's tougher. I think they're two different flavors, right? Like, I love baked beans a lot. I think they're great. But they're asking you these questions, so I don't know why I'm answering. You do your thing. Well, no, I have a similar answer that they're very different flavors meant for different things. Black I beans would, would actually probably be my least favorite, Katums. 
If I had to pick between refried beans and baked beans for like ever, I think I'd go with baked beans. Wow, they're killing this guy too. They have two cards in hand. I feel like we're actually doing. We could just play Raising Alarm and it just kills both. And movies. why? Because I feel like refried beans go with less things. Hmm. God, you're so. That's why I love black beans. You're so wise, dude. It's really impressive. Whenever we go to Tijuana Flats, I always get the black beans. Do you really? Yeah. Over the refried. I like refried beans. I got a better taste. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. No, that's true. That is just my opinion. But it's better than yours because yours is my shit. My problem with refried beans, a lot of times they are kind of bland. Like they're not salted enough or something. That's my problem with black beans. That's kind of funny. I feel like refried always has a, a more, they have more of a taste. Black beans baked are greater than black. Wow. Refried is your, is your last choice, Kanem's? Um, I think my list is the same as yours, except for Switch Black and Refried. I think Baked is still my favorite. Oh, that's fine. I mean, you're trading 1-1 for my... I really wish... Oh, actually, getting on this Chain Roller is nice. They make an excellent burrito with Pinto and Black Beans? Whoa, that's crazy. Maybe you do. Making your way in the mock B today things and everything you got. Couldn't you make refried beans with black beans if you wanted? I mean, you'd have to, like, mash them up. Yeah, I mean, you probably yeah. could, but, like, no one does. What if you get really dark black baked beans, or not baked beans, refried beans, then, it, then was it black beans? I I don't think so, no. I don't I don't know if that's a thing, what you're saying right now. Wouldn't you like to Michael B? There are refried black beans? Oh my god, she's so smart. Yeah, because where I've been to places where it was like, these refried beans are like, real dark. These refried beans are real dark. Now I just want food. <laughs> you want to order some food? Bring it on in? Bring it on in. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call Are on you the Rat Train? <laughs> I mean, I could probably eat. I don't know where we could this late at night. Other than order. Taco Bell, boy. <laughs> I'd rather just go to the place with actually good tacos. Would you make refried jelly beans? Yeah, but we can't. Why not? Where can we get actual tacos? Oh, you're talking about the... the yeah, that place. Oh, your place. I don't know why you're such into Because that. I feel like I got it once and I just didn't like it. It wasn't good. But you didn't have the spicy chicken. You got we should order before everywhere is closed. Yeah, but the spicy chicken. I don't know, man. Show it to me. Show me that spicy chicken. It's red and delicious. I don't think I play any of these. Pulled. It's like pulled chicken, you know? I don't know. Like, you know, shredded. Oh, we have like so many taking extra turns. I would suggest Wacky Wednesdays, but you had pizza for lunch, right? I literally had pizza for lunch, yeah, yes. So you work on for the Michael B's. Chipotle's already closed. It's like 10.30. What's that place called? It's, what's that place called? Uh, Florida Subs and Euros. Florida Subs and Gyros. I'm going to see if I can find pictures of that, that meat you're talking about. That meat? Let me get a pic of that meat. <laughs> Pulled chicken and pork taste so good. You gotta wonder if they tried pushing them. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, God, I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna keep plusing on this, dude. Wow, all of our all of our taking extra turn cards are instants. I want one more land so I can do multiple things in a turn. Oh, we can actually make an emblem. If we hit another land, we can go make an emblem. Glorious end. Take our turn, not lose. Chance for glory. Take our turn. Give me a Gideon or something. Oh, Gideon Black Blade. That's that's French for the Black Blade. Meat pigs. <laughs> a, a girl who said meat pigs. You can take the turn at the end of his turn. Untap and make the emblem. 
True. Wait, he takes a turn at the end of his turn? Um... With chance for lure, you can, but you don't. I feel bad because you don't get the indestructible. <coughs> um. So if if life link for all damage dealt by and that that be dealt by this permanent. Oh, so it takes damage, right? But I don't feel like I want to attack here because then our Gideon gets. Send your meat pics to Frank's son at therattrain.smorg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Is that it? I think the one on the right, yeah. Wow, they're going to kill my one, my one, sh 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 the one on the right? This is not, <laughs> there's the top and bottom, Michael. The top. You can see the meat better. Why did you call it the one on the right? I don't know. That also could just be the pork, though. I'm not sure, because they're both red. Red. I can't interact with this in any way. That's weird. I can't even right click on it. Red, red meat. Where you send all the exes? Anything on the stack? Yeah, I know. I'm. Oh, Monsonster. I'm so glad you're here, dude. You ever just want to eat some red? Never. I've never had. Oh well, that's interesting. So play this guy. Oh, they could just kill it, though. I guess that's fine. Do I care? Do I look like I care? Is it dancing with me? Nobody If they attack uh, one of our planeswalkers with this chain whaler and we give it indestructible, does that do anything? I don't think it does. I'll make you a 4 4. We're going to start doing the deed. Pump this guy up. Give it lifelink. God, this is so much. So much Gideon's. You remind me of breakfast. Satisfying and enjoyable. Man, that is, or delightful. That is that is A-OK, -okay, my dude. I guess we should have attacked before playing this guy. Yeah, that's fine. If we give it a... Okay. If we play either of these, they just respond by, you know, doing the thing. Doing the thing. You know what I'm saying here. Do we just take an extra turn here? I feel like we do. Sure. Send him on down to Rat Train. Don't forget to not lose. It's a good idea. Solid strategy, Michael. Uh, would you like to pay two life? One, two. Yes, I would. Ooh, do we just get do we just get in there with needle spires? No, because we want to be able to glorious end their turn. We have eight damage in hand. Are these both four fours? Yeah, they're both four fours. So, Boros Charm giving double strike actually doesn't do anything unless the life link is relevant. Um, yeah, sure, just pass. We did, did you see how we didn't lose the game there? That's crazy, man. Oh, actually, let's Boros Charm them here because we have the mana to do so. I'm just going to play this now because they're not going to draw their card. Interesting. What is this? Four, five, six, seven. So make a Gidgeon. 
exile you. These Gideons by my side. Meat picks. Katie, you can't just say meat picks, okay? You fall asleep again? No. Are you? No. You sound like you are. Every time I sit here and don't say something for like a minute. Because your breathing gets heavy. It starts like... It starts getting heavy. Your breathing starts getting like... Like loud. And I feel like that's... Stop listening to my breathing, you pervert. Wow. That's just rude. See all the turns we took? We just won. We just won the game. Yeah. I don't think wear a tear does anything. Uh, Let the man... I am letting him breathe. That's how I can tell that he's fallen asleep. No. (laughs) Stop breathing, Michael. Just stop breathing. Rest in peace also bad. I don't think shock is great. Damage can't prevent it if it's in and then are preventing damage. Um, Soul Ways could be good. I kind of just want this other Gideon. I don't know how much I like Bomat Courier here. I hate that card. Jeez. That's because it's like the, it's like such a red card. I hate that card. Okay, take it easy. It's a stupid 1-1 one, one for 1 that just dies. You're a stupid 1-1 one, one for 1 that just dies. No, I'll keep it because of my Bomat Courier. I love it so much. Hey man, where'd you get those meat picks? Where did I get them? Yeah, aren't you looking for the meat picks? Yeah, but I, I got, I'm playing this game now. You know, we got infinite time. They're open until like 3 in the morning, so. What if I don't want to go there, though? What happens then? Then we just go to beach pizza. I'm just kidding. That's, that's literally far. pizza again. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> pizza. That's literally. We'll just go to uh, Christina's. <sighs> that's so far. I'm going to St. Pete twice in one day. All right, your parents are in St. Pete. Don't yell at me, Michael. What's wrong with you? I feel like 90% of your life is just sounding like you're having a stroke at any given time. What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's also, wrong a good with meme, that? Man. What is? What's a pretty good... Oh, did you see that one? <laughs> Here's a profile picture. Anyway, here's a racist comment. It's me, sunset profile photo. Anyway, here's a racist comment. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> pretty much on point. And my my response is, we would ha- we would have also accepted profile picture of my child, of which this comment will set a terrible example for. <laughs> oh wow, Boros Reckoner. Are they playing our deck? That'd be sick. They're probably not though. That's sad. I imagine you weren't playing those stupid nerds. I wasn't playing any of these cards really. Jack in the box. What's their veggie alternative of Jack in the box that I can have? There ain't no Jack in the box in Florida except for in Tallahassee, I think. Also, it's trash. Jack in the box? Well, their curly fries are okay. Wow. Actually, they're fine. (laughs) Actually, I've changed my mind. I really wish I had an answer to this Boros Reckoner. Mike, you should start your own stream and call it Frank Before 2. Wow. That's actually, that would be, I think that would actually, Jesus. That'd be hilarious. This is a, they, these, these are, these are not manageable right now. Oh, God. Do any of those Gideons kill a tap creature? None of them do, no. Dang it. Um. How is Taco Bus open? I don't, Alexa, how late is Taco Bus open? Taco Bus on South Twelfth Street Boulevard in Clearwater is open from January twenty second, twenty twenty at ten a.m. to January twenty third, twenty twenty at twelve a.m. Midnight. God, there's just no way. Like, there's no way. This is not looking good. It's almost not looking good. We'll just have to find some of this one until two. We can go to Perkins. That doesn't sound great. I'd actually be okay with Perkins. I could get a pancake. What about? What about Bar Louie? Aren't they open until like 2? I'll find out. Wingstop is open until 12, though that is a great choice. That's why Wingstop is a good choice after for like the post 10 p.m. streams. I don't think we can win this match against Double Boris Reckoner, man. Applebee's also not bad. Ooh, that's Ooh, that's solid. I'm actually feeling that. Apps could be good. It's cheap. Yeah, it is cheap. You can get out of there for like under 15 bucks. And they're open until the end of days. <laughs> 
They're open until when the end. When there of- is no men left, there will still be the Applebee's. Wow, you really got right up into the mic for that one. Oh, let me hold on. I, I put. I let me change this to Pioneer. Probably a good idea, considering that's what we're playing. I'm gonna get some mod sticks and some chicken quesadilla. Look, he's getting so something excited. Else. You can tell he he wants the Applebee's because of how excited he's getting right now. I don't know what else, but something else. Katie's nailed it with the Applebee's. Katie, remember that time we went to Applebee's and you got chicken strips and then you dipped them in ketchup and I was like, this is the quintessential kids meal right here. <laughs> yeah, but also that's not terrible. Nah, she's cute, so. Jesus Christ, these guys are so brutal, man. I personally prefer the honey busket, but, you know, to each their own. <laughs> okay, so you say honey busket and I don't know how... It means honey mustard when it sounds more like both honey biscuit and honey basket. So you get a busket. It's like a bucket of honey. A honey busket. What is this? Look at this weirdo. Whoa. I don't even know that thing. She t- I don't even know that thing. Is this one of the good ones? I don't know. I've never seen it before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're just going to concede. I can't beat two Boros Reckoners. This is... And the, the sad thing is, like, the one removal spell, we, like, the one sweeper we have is just absolutely terrible against Boros Reckoner. Their steak with the shrimp parm topper is delicious. I don't know about ordering steak from Applebee's. That seems shrimp like... parm? Oh, God, dude. Dude, who is it that got shrimp parm? Were you with me? So what a shrimp parm once, and it was, like, shrimp. Was it at, like, was it at Italian Mia? Yeah. Oh, God. Was it you? No. I think it was Melissa got it once. I thought that was, I thought it was, that, that's what I thought it was too. That's so weird, dude. I just can't imagine shrimp with cheese on it. I ordered a chicken quesadilla. That's true. You did order a chicken quesadilla. Yeah, but when you fry it, it's different. Is it really? It becomes like a different thing, yeah. <laughs> it becomes a different thing. Because then you got the, it, it's probably good. I mean, I've never actually had shrimp parm. <sighs> I don't know how to deal with it. But I can't imagine reckoners. it being that bad. I have two lightning strikes. I have two. I think we need paths in this deck. I don't think I care about the Bomat Courier, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, steak's okay. I just think ordering steak from restaurants is such a ripoff, man. They're always so expensive. You want cheap steak? What are you, some kind of cheap steak? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cheap steak, guys. Hey, man. Yes, man. No, I can't even say it. It's too ridiculous. What were you going to say? <laughs> I was going to say, let's go to Texas Day Brazil. <laughs> what? Okay, A, they're not open. <laughs> no, I mean like on... Oh, next week? Yeah. Oh, God. And then go to Montreal. <laughs> Jesus. That's even more expensive. How much all you eat, you can eat? How Ugh. much all you can eat do you need? Boy, I can eat all you can eat. I can cons- I I consider the chicken. Ca- oh, you oh you consider the chicken. I thought you got the chicken. Case. What did you get? Did you just get chicken fingers? And we split the spinach artichoke dip. Um, I was gonna say something. I forgot what it was. Do you remember what it was? <laughs> do I remember? Do you what remember you were what I was gonna say? say? No, oh, I'm do you remember sorry. that time I got? I went to we went to. Uh, Applebee's and like immediately after I got fucking like norovirus and I like literally destroyed the bowl. Well, I was for, like there. I wasn't there to witness that part, but you did tell me how bad it was. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was walking around the house like just sweating well, profusely is, like, I and didn't stuff. Get it, so. so it leads me to believe it's not from the, the Applebee's where you got it. But I mean, it's I, that was yeah. But I was there. also traveling that week too, so I could have literally gotten on like the plane. Right. Exactly. So it's hard to say. I mean, that doesn't mean you didn't get it from Applebee's. True. Like, you just had the, the one with the germs on it. You're the one with the germs on it. <sighs> Got them. When Taco Bell does their double stack quesadilla or whatever it's called, oh shit, son, I'm getting fat. <laughs> yeah, Katie also has a Taco Bell weakness, too. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, it's like her weakness. My problem with Taco Bell is like everyone's like Taco Bell's so cheap, but like, not really. It's really not if you get the good like the good stuff. If you don't order off like the dollar menu, then like, oh jeez, I didn't even, even use this. Even the tacos are only almost two dollars a piece, which is like pretty standard taco prices. Great. I'll choose this guy and make him indestructible because I don't want to feel stupid about my decision. She does love some good Bell. 
I'm shocked that people can eat shrimp even more than they can do with cheese. What was the dude? I agree with you, Mark. I'm like, I'm like such a non, I'm like, nah, dude. Shrimps are freaking delicious. They're so weird, man. They're just sea bugs. How come you'll eat a shrimp but not a, like a roach? Because they're way different. How? Have you ever had a roach? No, but I've seen oh, people eat them and I've, describe them. I've witnessed a roach before. Because a shrimp has like meat. Shrimp has meat? A, a roach has like pus. What are you, what are you, some kind of pus bird? Oh, it's definitely not. My order is like $10. Why don't you just go to a real place and get a real meal? Yeah. Why don't I just go to a place and get a <laughs> Yeah, well, because you like what you like, you know? I'm going to give this Gideon. Lifer McLinkles, my dude. Do you know Lifer McLinkles? He uh he used to work in accounting. No, I don't get crawfish because those are like too bug like. Those are way more bug like than shrimp in what my about, opinion. What about crawdads? Those are the same thing. What about No no the crayfish? <laughs> Again, the same thing. <laughs> also, like everyone says, Oh, you gotta eat it like this, and I gotta like do an equation to eat your food. As with a shrimp, I'm just like I just pop it in my mouth and that's it. Yeah, pop them in there, you disgusting slob. Make this Gideon a 4-4. Four, four. You got to suck the juice out of the head. Oh, man. We're 1-0 with Gideon's glory. All right. We need to... Let's let's make some adjustments. I don't love the Monastery Swift Spears. I don't yeah, love I the Bomac like Curries either. Yeah, I don't think those do anything for you, really. You do need some low-to-the-ground guys. But, like, what He's, else is in the format that's, like, hasty one-drops? Don't just be mouth and mic. What's your culture? Crawdaddies? Brett, are you... Do an equation that you might. What were you talking about when you said that? When you have to eat crawfish, it's like you gotta cut the head because you gotta, you gotta just bite get, the head off. You gotta get the head. You gotta <laughs> suck the juice. And then you gotta suck the tail. And you gotta like, I don't know, man. It's just and you gotta crack them open. I don't like, like doing that much work for it. Right. Yeah, I, it's, I don't like working that hard. Like I pay a premium for my food, so I don't have to work to to do that. Yeah, de 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 shell it for me, and maybe I'll be. Here. What are you doing with your hands there? I was <laughs> just <laughs> de shell. <laughs> He gets real excited about the D shell. Then you gotta cuff the ball. <laughs> then you gotta, Chris. I think we're. I think we've. I, I, I think we're in different territory right now. Whoa. Okay. So what do we need here? Two drops. What are some good two drops that I can drop? I'm sure if you know how to do it, maybe they're epic. I don't know. I'm gonna look them up. I'm gonna look up red and white two drops in Pioneer. That's and gonna... one drops. I feel like one drops are gonna underwhelm me. All right. So white red at least these colors at most rather casting cost two illegal and pioneer this is going to be a lot of things dudes might have to narrow it down only 600 cards <laughs> that's actually less than i was expecting maybe you should narrow it down to creatures too that would probably help right yeah but like then you have things like raise the alarm but i think narrowing it down to creatures to begin with is actually pretty helpful so caricadio Mentor? Monastery Mentor? I like Monastery Mentor. I'm, I'm worried about this yeah, glut of three drops. Triggers. I can't even see what cards we were playing due to being on my phone, but <laughs> shrugged. I like the, the I like the girl emoji after female shrug. <laughs> uh okay, so as a first creature is only three nineteen, so that's literally What about Adanto? Adanto Vanguard? Yeah. It's more of an attacker though. We want to protect we want to protect. Do we? Yeah, we won't protect our Gideon. I thought it was just about getting in there to flip your Leisure's Landing and your, your other Gideon. Oh, he's such a dummy. Well, if that's the case, I would just play more, more like, Raise the Alarm type cards. Isn't there more Raise the Alarms? I don't know. Hmm. What about the Prince that was chosen? What the fuck is that? Charming Prince? Yeah. It does nothing. It, nothing? It's just a 2-2. None of these effects are relevant. Scry 2, don't care. Gain 3 life, don't care. Exile a creature, re own, and return it to the battlefield. I don't care about those things. Okay, you're just you're just naming it because it's a good two drop, not I just because. I wanted it... to make the prince that was chosen meme. Chosen, <laughs> the chosen chosen. Just play O four Oxel. That's a good good point. We should do that. N no, no, I'm good. Oh, that was a Katie suggestion. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Did you say Oxel? Yeah. Oh, that's an exclamation point. Yeah, because Oxel's not a thing, so why would you... What were you thinking? I thought it was just called Oxel, I don't know. What did you think was called that? The card? What card? Oxel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, for crying out loud, man. Come on. Get your friggin' life together. Mike, is this where Mike's like, never. I'll never get my life together. I don't want to. I want to play the, the two, the, the O4 Oxel. I, as I've told Michael, he needs to get glasses, but he doesn't believe in self-care, so. Anything that improves his life, he just like, nah, ain't for me. I don't need glasses. Dude, you couldn't even see an exclamation mark, and you're closer than I am. Well, <laughs> well I can't. If I focus on it, I can see it. All you got to do is read it. If I glance at it, it looks like Do you have to focus on everything you read in order no. to like... Okay, no, so, no. so no, what's the problem not. then? Whatever, man. It's small text, okay? Wow. Just how many excuses are you going to make? <laughs> oh, but the text is so small. Yeah, well, like my actual vision from like this distance isn't like blurry or anything like that. Double vision. Plus then I got to invest in glasses, man. Yeah, in other words, I have to invest in something that enhances my life in some meaningful way. It won't enhance that. Like, Okay, I can't distinguish the difference between an exclamation point and an L. How many fingers do I hold up? Two. <laughs> Thank you. Three. Got him. <laughs> you you said two. It. You said two. <laughs> yeah, because you had two before. What about Night of the White Orchid? Night of the White Orchid seems real good. Uh, Is the double white hard? No, we're mostly white. That should be fine. I could just add more white, too. You know what I mean? True. I like a Night of the White Orchid. I hope you guys. It actually makes it so we have no. If we have no red one drops, we could add more planes over mountains. I just I searched for night. That seems much worse than searching for like orchid. What problem is? What problem is? What what problem is? She's right. What problem is? Okay, so we need four more cards. There's got to be another good one drop we can play. I'd rather just play two drops. I don't even like starting at one. Why the only not even look at them though? Because how is a one drop ever going to be better than a, a strong two drop? What if it's real good? Well, name it, and I'll put it in. Goblin Guide. But this isn't a Goblin Guide. Are you being serious? Goblin Guide's not legal. <laughs> got him. <laughs> I'll just play next to you, Tram, then. I got, I got him. To, you mean that's that's the that's like the 04 ox. That's basically an 05 sheep. Yeah, but you gain a life. How is a sheep tougher than an ox? Explain it to me. I said explain it to me. The Explain the it. fur bounces bullets because it's so cozy i want you to repeat what you just said the fur bounces bullets because it's so cozy did i stutter you didn't unfortunately <laughs> Ooh, so sphere i oh i was thinking secret of the oh, that's what i meant <laughs> i was like what i guess i looked and there was none and i was like i know what he's saying it was a win monster I do like Seeker of the Way. I also kind of like one more Lightning Strike instead of a Boros Charm, because Boros Charm is kind of redundant, because all your Gideons are 4-4s, four except for this one. So, like, if you give them Double Strike, they're just dealing 8, but Boros Charm is already going to do that, and I like having the the removal Wait, here, what? I think. Oh, you mean you attack plus give it Double Strike is the same it's thing? Dealing as, eight. It's dealing yeah. 8. It's the same as just casting it and, and dealing the 4 damage, right? Sure. And the Indestructible is cute, but, like, I don't know if that actually does... What about Chance for Glory? Well... I could add, <clears throat> I could add it, but I think that the, well, I don't think you need more than six of those. The fact that we already have them in the deck is probably a good reason. Seeker actually seems good because this deck has a lot of spells. I think Seeker is way better than Monastery Swift, Monastery Mentor, Monastery Swift Spear rather. Yeah, just because it's a two drop. Well, and the life gain is relevant too. I'll put Seeker in here for now. I'll see if there's anything else that's really Some good. Some Seeker wit. Make me feel really good. Although. I mean, I keep wanting to look at one drops, but I really can't think of a good one drop. I think his one drops are like, they're just going to be worse than two drops. Two drops are just a stronger card because they cost two instead of one. I mean, I know that sounds silly, but that's literally just how it works. Oh, Michael. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. No, no. I like Tithe Taker too. Tithe Taker is actually pretty sweet. Seeker is what I was thinking of when I said Mentor. I couldn't. Oh, nice. Wow, that's hilarious because you and Mike both said Mentor. That's actually pretty funny. Man. What does Tithe Taker do? Uh, it's a 2 1 with Afterlife. And during your turn, spells your opponent's cost, a cast costs one more, and activated abilities cost one more. So, like on your turn, it taxes them. It mm. takes the Tithe. Right. If you, wow, okay. I didn't know you were such a hater. What are you, Young Pyromancer? Is Young Pyromancer good here? Is it... It's, it's just instant or sorceries. I mean, well... 
Yeah, one planes four, six, count, seven, nine, 10, yeah. 11, 12. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I mean, if planeswalkers count, I'd be on board, but I think we want some paths somewhere. I think path is probably going to be shock in the side. Is path legal? Maybe it's not. It's not, right? No, it's in. Con no, wow. That's a good. That's something right there. All right. Let's try it like this. I'm going to add one more white and cut one of the mountains. Yeah, I left. I definitely like Seeker better than, than Monastery or Swift Spear. And Night of the Way Darker better than Bow Courier. Because this is actually getting you. This is drawing you a card, but like, it's not a deck where you're dumping your hand, especially with multiple Gideons. No one else you can do. That's hilarious that Katie actually meant Seeker and you both said Seeker. All right, you ready? Oh, this is rough. This is a bowl. Should I mulligan it? Yeah. We can cast everything. You're right. Much better. I just, I just would have been laying there. I don't want to get greedy, Michael. You barely even need three lands. See? Now we need three lands. We would have got there. It's your boy. Oh, look at that. That's a good looking land. Look at that windmill. Got hope, a little orchids. Hope no one's getting cancer from that one. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's something right there. How come, Jesus, how come our Kithians have been killed every single game? That's amazing. Oh, boy. Hazard Marshall is a good one. What's Hazard Marshall? Hazda Marshall. See, again, like, <laughs> man, you keep saying it, but, like, you keep messing up. I just read that wrong. Like, I saw there was H-A-A-Z-D-A, -A -A, but I just mm -hmm. read it wrong. Boy, you got excuses for everything, don't you? Yeah. It's something. No one else you can do. Are they just going to kill us with a walking ballista? Is that how that combo works? I don't know. I just work here. Mike, listen to your heart. Oh, wow. That's pretty aggressive. That's something right there. Jesus. Oh boy. What's landing? I'm gonna give this guy a good ability. Give him lifelink. Oh yeah, get him. Oh, Chain to the Rocks. Is that legal? Uh, yeah, that was in Theros, I believe. I believe Theros is legal that seems in this. good. Chain to the Rocks ain't bad. Did someone say that? Yes, Mark said it. Oh, not going for the triple block there? Um, actually, yeah, I wanted to keep Gideon alive, but... Uh, yeah, but that, like, leaves their god online. Oh, not when we draw. Oh, I guess we're just dead. Cool. Is that an infinite combo? Ah, uh, yep. How does that work? Uh, it has lifelink now, and whenever a creature with lifelink deals damage... Whenever you gain life, you put a one on counter on a creature, so they shoot us, they gain a life, they put a counter on it. They oh, okay. shoot us. gotcha. Oh, that's fun. That's a pretty good combo. That's only two cards. <laughs> Thank you. For what? <laughs> like, like, I don't know what that means. Got any god killers in our sideboard? I guess we'll... I guess where tear would work. I thought he was being shitty. I was like, thank you for tapping. I, like, I thought he was going to be like, for tapping out. And I'm like, 
Oh, for scooping without making me leave. Yeah, that'd be super obnoxious. <laughs> like, no, they got the combo. It's fine. Um, I mean, this kills Ballista. It's their main combo, so it seems good in the neighborhood. You okay? Wow, Katie knew. Dang. <laughs> Thanks for tapping out, loser. Oh, God, I am dead. Brass Nux did? Brass Nux did? Is that your, is that your street said, name? <laughs> what up, Brass Nux did? No, I'm saying Brass Nux, dude. Oh, that's good old Brass Nuxted. He's, <laughs> he's from the streets. The mean streets? The mean streets, yeah. Used to be from the kind streets, but they grew cold. But not at all. I hate that I can't play this for value on turn two. Do we play it then? Hmm. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. I don't think so. But then we can't play it next turn either. What does he do? He does nothing, though. I like when Mucho puts the glasses on. <laughs> I think everybody does. Yeah, that's his gimmick. Give the people what they want, Michael. Hold on. <laughs> okay, well, that's something right there. That was beautiful. What if we did one of these jobbies where, like, I put my upside down mouth on your face? What's, how do you feel about that? Uh, relatively uncomfortable. What if I put my eyes on your face? Okay, that's incredible. That's something right there. Oh boy. <clears throat> Have a good time. Give me something I can play. No, you just don't insist. You insist on not doing that, huh? Oh, I guess I'm playing lands, so like this this knight's never gonna be good. I think the point is to miss a land drop. That is generally the idea. Yeah, that's not but I don't wanna I wanna play Gideon. God. I can't wait for like I can't I'm gonna I'm gonna laugh so hard when this gets banned. And then standard is literally just every set has a card that's banned in it. Like At what point is like the design team actually like just not living up to their end of the bargain yeah yeah because like it seems like a pretty easy any easy interaction to catch like i remember as soon as that card's pulled over people were like Whoa. well the thing about that is like just be oh wow you're still up there i totally forgot you're up there <laughs> wow that was my bad i'm sorry guys um no they loved it the thing is like everyone says that like it's so easy to catch everyone knew but like there's millions of magic players on the internet so like just because everyone's like people on the internet caught it like there's like 20 members of r&d and like 3 billion magic players in the world so it's like well yeah but at what point isn't it their fault like it's still their fault but right but like i don't think i don't think saying that everyone else caught it why didn't you is a good is a good defense because it's like well it's easy for also don't they like not test for older formats because you have like three thousand people and you have one if all, all you have to do is have one person who who finds it and then they post on a reddit and then all of a sudden everyone found it you know that's like, true yeah mm. but no tr traditionally they don't test for older formats because they don't they can't they just don't have the time or the manpower yeah <sighs> listen to your heart which half do you ban probably the god i guess because rock and blue still would be weird to take that out of the format I 
Um, well, it's not that Me Me Meteor Magic Weekend, they still could have missed it and they noticed it after print, right? Like after the card was already printed. Because, I mean, the, th the thing is, like, the, the set was probably finalized a few months ago, you know? So it might have been too late to change it at that point. And, like, they, they, they could have only caught it when they read the internet and been like, oh, wait, we made a mistake. Let's make an announcement. Like, we don't know the timing necessarily. Got to use the bathroom. He's got to take a little boop. Good luck. I'll need it. I know. I believe in you, though. Yeah, that or when, like, Pioneer might not have even been a real thing at the time, you know, when they were designing it. And then they just never looked back and been like, oh, wait. You know? So, I mean, yeah, there's a bunch of things that could have happened. But the, the point is, like... I don't know. Maybe, like... Wait, what are they taking with this? Interesting. Oh, it turns on your gentleman. <sighs> well, wear tear doesn't seem great here, unfortunately. Oh, unless they walking ballista here. Jeez, July. <sighs> That's pretty rough. I do not think we're winning this game, unfortunately. Um, I don't think our deck is ag actually that aggro. I think you want to amass planeswalkers and then try to win through a Gideon emblem plus multiple turns. I don't actually think we're attacking like every turn and trying to be aggro. I mean, if you just want to revoke existence for this, is this, like, a real enough thing? But, like, the problem is, like, they can just... Ugh, it's just very narrow. Banishing Light? Maybe Banishing Light is the answer, but that's, like, three mana? Hmm. We can't even kill this, huh? That's pretty sad. I guess we actually, they block here, it takes five. If they block here, it takes four and it still lives. So that's pretty rough. This feels like one of our better chances to just get rid of a. I mean, if they have the walking ballista, though, we're dead, right? That's the problem. So. Yep. Every game. <sighs> Yep, that is not a fun deck to play against. The problem with Deckenstone is that it's not super common that Heliod is a creature, and if it's not a creature, then it just doesn't do anything. Let's put two Revokes in instead of two Wear Tears. I think that's probably going to be better. Um... Does he race exile? I could see a race being good here. Oh, I like a race. That's nice. Oh, I like OG a race. Let's 
play three. Um, take out the revokes. We'll take out one. Uh, take out one solar blaze, I guess. Uh, exile enchantment. If the exile card is a god, search its controller's graveyard hand library for. Oh, that's interesting. It's just a two mana erase, right? It's almost actually it's better, right? Because they're both exiling an enchantment, but this is like, oh yeah, I like that actually. Man, see, this is why I love chat because like, we get the we get the advantage of hive minding it. I don't actually think the Boros Charm is great in the deck. I really feel like we want things that are gonna keep us alive. I almost want another one of these Gideons. How many Gideons? Can we play more Gideons? What Gideons don't we have? Is five mana Gideon legal? No, that's too bad. Is this Gideon legal? No, that's too bad. I kind of like one more of these Gideons. Wasn't there another card we mentioned? Deck needs white removal, seal away, or something like that. Well, seal away is not going to do it, though, right? Seal away is like. I don't even know if that's legal, Mark. Oh, seal away. I'm thinking of seal of. I was thinking of seal of cleansing, right? Well, not S seal. Uh, seal of cleansing is what I was thinking of. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. Seal away is not bad, but it's not going to stop. The problem is, it's not going to stop, like, Heliot or anything if, if they have that. I wonder if Settle the Wreckage is better. Settle might be better than Solar Blaze. Because it does deal with things like Heliod, whereas Solar Blaze does not. I wish Wall of Omens was legal. That would be amazing. Yeah, that's sad. Um, we could have got for Boros Charm. We might just want Rule. We might just want something like... Are there any good red planeswalkers? Like I know it's not. I mean, format of Chandra is pretty good. Come seal away with me. I said, come seal away. Banishing light is legal. I was just trying to avoid more three drops. What is Hawali actually? I wonder if that's. There, one of the Hawalis is bad, and one of the Hawalis is good. Oh, I like the one that makes three threes, actually. That's not bad. I kind of want to play one Hawatley, but it's only 20, only 21 lands. See, like, even though, like, this is, this is fun because, like, even though, despite the downtime, like, I still like this aspect of, of putting the deck together and figuring out what does not doesn't work. Um, let me look up Theros cards. Let me see if there's anything cool from Theros that we can be including. Text... Don't care about that. Don't care about mana cost anymore. I do care about Theros. Uh, Banishing Light is reprinted. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, for some reason, things did not show up. The only things that showed up are lands. 
That's weird. Uh, is it because I? Hmm. I don't. Hmm. I don't know why there. I don't know why it's the only thing that's coming up here. What am I missing? Heliod's Pilgrim comes up. 19 cards of the color is red, white, and it's legal in Pioneer, and the set is THB. Oh, it's because it's only showing me the reprints. Okay, because I have it legal in Pioneer. Never mind. So if I take that off, then we see everything. We did it. We did it. Do you guys have any suggestions? I know you gotta have some suggestions, right? Exile of Permanent Pump Controls. Actually, what about Elspeth Conquers Death? It gets rid of Hwatley. No, not Hwatley. Uh how much is how much does Heliod cost? Does Heliod cost three? It's gotta it's gotta be fine, right? And then you can return a creature or planeswalker from your graveyard to the battlefield. Actually, that seems great. What if we add one more land? Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes to save the day. What is... Uh what is Elspeth going for? Seven nickels. Joke's on you, dummy. It's eight nickels. Dang. I've explained the Banishing Light thing like three times, Zedrate. It's three mana. I'm trying to avoid three mana cards because I feel like we have a glut of three mana cards and I just don't want to clog up our hand with more three mana cards. I mean, it's a great card. What about Chain? The same thing, right? Except they're only used creatures. And you gotta put on a mountain instead of a, a plains. Yeah, but that counts your duels. Yeah, it's true, but we still only have like five mountains in the deck. Oh yeah, it doesn't count needle spires and Right. So we have like four sacred foundries and like two mountains, so it's only Yeah, actually I guess that doesn't work. You'd Plus like it doesn't hit a Heliod if Heliod's not online and they can just uh, you can play a play around it. Elspeth in the middle of us. I'm gonna put this in here. What the hell is that one do again? Uh, I'll show you in a second. Mike B. In the middle of my street, Mike B. Uh, it is exile target permanent opponent controls with converted mana cost three or greater, which is very, 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 very versatile. Uh, non creature spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast until your next turn. Which is the least versatile part on here. And then you return a creature or planeswalker from your river to the battlefield with a 1 1 counter on it. So. Okay. Okay. I was going to take the Boros Charms out. 22 land, is that too few? I guess we have knights. All right. Let's give this a shot. Michael B. Skullcrack can kind of counter that combo, yeah. That's true. But then you gotta play Skullcrack. <laughs> this hand's actually pretty good. Michael B. Michael B. Michael B. Michael B. Who's that? It's me. Can you prove it? Do you have identification? I actually do. Let me see it. Okay. I'm going to show it to the chat. Nope. Don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> guys, Mike's Mike's ID still has his parents' address on it. If I show it to you guys, can you send can you send mail to Mike's parents' house? Wow. Like snail mail? Snail mail. Mm. That was some... Uh, that was some Curse of Oak Island right there, guys. Um, this week, we found another twig. That's literally, it's a, like, a, a cribbing spike near the thing that this ha thing has a thing. And I'm like, oh, come on. I know you're going to say that. 
I did enjoy the episodes I watched, though. I just love that show. It's my guilty pleasure, man. They'll catch. They'll they'll find something eventually, man. Because I can't imagine the show ending after it's like on season. S- I don't even know. Oh, dang it. It's like season six or seven right now, and I can't imagine the show just ending and being like, "Well, we found nothing." Hey, Mike B, you play D and D. I've played D and D once, and I enjoyed it. Did you? I'm not opposed to playing it again. That'd be weird if you were like, "I'm never gonna play it again." Well, what if I didn't like it? I'm playing your standard Grixis on Arena. That's awesome. Playing Zarka Academy Glad. I'm fucking crying out loud. Nothing ever works out. You think they have a second one? Guess we're gonna find out, huh? I am dead inside. <laughs> what are the odds they're playing two of those? Or that they'll have two in hand? 100%. Apparently. 100%. Wow. I actually caught my coworker singing Sweet Michael B. yesterday while he was making a sub. He doesn't know the stream. He just heard me singing it so much it's in his head. Wow. That's hilarious. <sighs> Sweet Michael B.'s. He's like, who the fuck is this Michael B I keep singing about? Are you going to play the Seeker? No, I think it's still raised because it lets us flip over the Legion's Landing. But we could trigger the Seeker with the raise. That's cool, but I'd rather just get an extra land out of it and then play two Seekers. Tell me. Tell me that you like my Seeker. Tell me that you like my Seeker. Oh, they're going to bounce on there? Wow, jeez. That is aggressive. That is one aggressive. <coughs> one single aggressive. How else are Jason Bateman? Oh, um. Oh, Ozarks is back in March? Man. That's a show where I'm like, what are they going to do next? All right, we're going to flip this dude. Or else my name isn't Biscuit McGee. Well, the thing about Paul Rudd is that he's probably never going to be Michael Douglas old because he's just going to look like Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd's fucking 50 years old. Yeah, he's like 50-something, right? Dude, I hope I look like Paul Rudd when I am... How old you are now? When I Yeah. Man, I hope I look like Paul Rudd when I'm five years younger than I am today. Okay, here we go. One more time. Oh, we did it. Then he was like, he doesn't actually live in a tree, does he? I told him, no, he lives in a trash can. He just shook his head and walked away. <laughs> and he's like, it all makes even less sense now. Well, I'm just kind of hoping that we don't die here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Michael, I'm just trying to give you a little nudge here. Don't be a little... Oh, it's they're just playing the... Uh, they're just playing the old... Flash deck? Yeah. Flash deck. Flash, flash, deck. Flash, flash, deck. Flash, flash, deck. All these chance for glories are not looking good here. Wait till we get this Gideon back. One more mana. Oh, that's a good one. Do you think they're going to counter that guy? Even if they do, like... We get these triggers, so... Good night. Who's leaving? I'm headed to bed. Dang it, Kadams. You got it. Look at all this life I'm going to gain. Do you see it? See it with your special eyes. You don't have special eyes. You got shit eyes. How dare you? I have beautiful blue eyes. Do you? Yeah. Wow. Show me your eyes. Pop it out for me. <laughs> Pop your eyeball out, Michael. At least you can make a toke. What if I end the turn? Does that counter it? 
Also, they wouldn't lose, right? Which that would be weird. And we just die. That seems bad. Okay, so what if we? What if they block? We go chance for glory. Mhm. Mm chance for glory actually seems insane here. Before they block, you mean? Or no, after block because it gets indestructible. But now they're tapped out. So we go chance for glory, right? This guy, this guy's a little bit bigger. We get our next turn. We're gonna lose at the end of this turn, but we can end the turn. And now they're just dead because they have one blocker and they take three. Michael B. Sweet. Michael B. <laughs> Once more, oh, feeling for it, uh, Michael B. I believe the answer you're looking for is uh, Michael B. Yeah, the answer is uh, Michael B. Uh, <laughs> I think the thing you're uh, losing a tricky song. I thought he lived in the sea. <laughs> Who knows, man? <laughs> Who knows where that dude is? I don't even know where Michael B. is half the time. Would have been here sooner, but when I opened Twitch, there was some of the fitness, some hot fitness instructor with some skimby shorts on. So, wow. That's a thing on Twitch? Is there exercise channels now? God, Twitch is just like cable now. Twitch, yeah, it's, it's whatever you want to broadcast, basically. That's insane. What a time to be alive, man. This is definitely a keep. One drop, two drop, three drop. Oh, 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 oh. What's my favorite Matlock episode? Oh, that's a good question. I think it was the one where he was old. I don't even know what Matlock is. Oh, Jesus. You know Murder, She Wrote? Not well. It's like a, it's like a white, it's like a male Matt. It's like a Matlock's a male Murder, She Wrote. That basically doesn't mean anything to me. You don't mean anything to me. <laughs> wow. God. Nice I think I'm just going to trade with this little ship, this little briny boy. That's fine. That's just brine. And now we got Gideon into Gideon. Jeez. Gideon on, hot Gideon on Gideon action. Are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Is this resolving? Oh, wow. So if they play like Brazen Bar or like something like this, I didn't want Gideon to just immediately die, so... Ooh, they did not interesting oh that's a that's a that's a vasa that's a vasa misa misa mom night of orchid what are they doing here they're gonna counter my white of the night orchid i guess so Welp, see you later. Yes, we are currently playing Pioneer. Also, go to CoolStuffInc.com. Check out my latest article. It's called, Has Standard Lost Its Luster? And let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear it. Oh, boy. Well, that is sad because even a th even a mighty three three we can't deal with here. I guess we should have done this because we can always block this. That was a misplay. Misa ruining the franchise, eh, Ani? <laughs> it's true. I'm just gonna chum block and wish I had a friggin' lightning bolt. Yeah, this is 
is actually pretty rough. I don't think we can win this game. Oh, I didn't even play Neil Spires because I just because uh, I just yolo it. You don't think we can win this game? I think we're way ahead right now. No, behind is what I meant. Oh, yeah, it's sound a little bit different. B I got you. Lisa don't like Michael B. <laughs> Prequels are greater than sequels. That is an unpopular opinion. <laughs> of course, we draw the, the same Gideon we have. All right, let's go to the next game. As someone who's recently watched the prequels, I hard disagree. Around the play, we'll take a night out. You want to take one of our night? You want to take a night out? I'll take a glorious night out too. Do whatever you want, man. <laughs> I don't even care. God damn. Don't be a little biscuit, Michael. If this hand's okay, I'll keep it. I'm old enough to remember when Return of the Jedi was the worst Star Wars movie. Wow. Jesus. What up, David? Davy, Davy Crockett. You remember Davy Crockett? Remember Johnny Appleseed? Remember like the same person? <laughs> what? I feel like the same guy, right? What's wrong with you? Yeah, the dialogue in Return of the Clones is, or I mean, sorry, Pack of the Clones, or whatever it's called. War of the Clones? Clone Wars? <laughs> whatever the second Jesus. one's Are called. Are you having an aneurysm? The dialogue in that movie is, oof, is rough, my dude. I'm going to Misa on the block? No. They didn't want to attack. I just was, oh wow, look at this, I got free land. God. <laughs> uh, it's like a non a non trivia. Did you know that before acting in A New Hope, Mark Hamill hadn't seen any Star Wars movies? To be fair, I also thought Jurassic Park The Lost World was better than the first one. Like, the ori better than the original Jurassic Park? Or do you mean like the newer Jurassic Park or whatever? I don't think Frank would agree with that. Pump it up, pump, pump it up. Let's give life link. Wonderful.
tapped out. That's interesting. So can we just chance for glory? That doesn't do much, right? I mean, we know they have suit. Well, in the game. We know they have stubborn and Allen hand, so. deal with this hope they don't have it hope they don't have what stubborn and iron i mean i think we both know they have it right but we have no other option like i don't think chance for lorries like all the, everything's getting countered by stubborn and they always have it so it doesn't really matter Oh, good. Shadow Spear in more formats than just Theros Draft. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> we can't We can't deal with these guys. Ugh, man. I don't... I just don't think we have the versatility, unfortunately. I don't think there's any other Time Walk cards, either. I like this deck. It's a cool idea. Tell you're focused on the game though. What? I can tell you're focused on the game though. What do you mean? Because someone said that Jurassic Park One wasn't the best Jurassic Park. Oh no, they were just a maniac. Like that's <laughs> the best Jurassic Park. Not even. I don't even think it's close. Like. I thought the Lost World was better. Uh, not on Tinder actually. Just talking to Katie. It's not. Um. Jurassic Park 3 is also not the best one. None of these are the best ones, except for the best one, which is Jurassic Park 1. It's just the best, it's the best one. It's not, I don't think it's even close. Like, the other ones are just literally um, existing off of that first one. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum has his shirt off in the original I Rest My Case. <laughs> I don't think Knight's been doing it. It's been really, okay. Really it's not it's, super great. Yeah, though. it's just like, is there like a path card? Like, I just want to be able to deal with like four fours or five fives or something like that. That just like lava strike. Like, what's the roast? Maybe. Hold on one second. How Lost World has two things the first lacked, which is Jeff Goldblum. Okay, Jeff Goldblum was in the original. And more T Rex. There's plenty of T Rex in the original. So, I don't think that really is a solid argument. Yeah, Chain of the Rocks is awkward. Plus, it only it only targets creatures. Quarantine zone's too expensive. Like, we only have 22 lands. So, like, for quarantine zone, I'd rather just play, like, Tribunal. 
But on the other hand, like I don't want something that can also be bounced with uh with like brazen borrower or like destroyed. Like I want to just be able to deal with a creature and have it go to the graveyard or a, a permanent like I want path to exile or like lava coil or something. Is lava coil legal? I think it is, but like it's also a sorcery. Like a path to exile would be just actually perfect. Well, I <laughs> got news for you. <laughs> Wrong format, buddy. I also want something for five. Is roast legal? Roast is legal, right? I think so. It does hit non-flyers, but still might be fine. Declaration in stone. Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, we already have lightning strike. It doesn't deal with five fives or four fours. Like, I just want to deal with bigger creatures. But deck and stone just gives them a card. Like, yeah, I don't think... Path gives you land, so I mean, it's kind of yeah. Kind of does everything you want it to do. What does? Deck and stone. Does it? I mean, roast does it a little better, right? Like, what are we not killing with? What about floaters? How many flyers are there? Even I don't even know. Play some glory bringers. Glory bringers? I kind of like that actually. That dude's great. Uh, I don't think fry is better than roast. Like it doesn't kill. It doesn't kill any of the green creatures that we just saw. You know. Don't you know? Does fry only kill flyers or not? It's just just any bluer. Any white or blue creature? No, like, I mean, like, we just don't... Like, right now, I just wanted to deal with Lovestruck Beast and um, the stupid wolf, you know? And I wish these weren't sorcery. Like, I just want an instant speed removal spell that can kill a 4-4 four, four, or 5-5. Five, five. Does that exist? Is that a thing? In this format? Uh, I don't think in these colors. What if... You just make this deck black white instead of black red, and you don't care about the extra turns. Black red? Or uh, what if you make it uh, white black rather? We're taking out the red for the for black. Yeah. But what is? That the, accomplishes your the, killing the things you need to kill. But then the deck's not called Gideon's Glory anymore. The point oh. of the point is Chance of Glory, right? I thought it was just to try to play as many Gideons as possible. No, you're trying to like play Gideons, take extra turns, then attack with them a bunch of Can times. Can splash black? It seems like a lot. Emulating Glare, Blessed Alliance. Valorous Stance. Cast Out. Valorous Stance sounds good. Cast Out's four mana. Like, I would just as soon play uh, the Conclave Tribunal. Give me some an R there. Yeah, not terrible. It's not bad. I could see playing two. The indestructible seems irrelevant though, because like these are all indestructible, so we're just giving these guys indestructible, but Maybe one Valorous, one Roast. <laughs> Hunter's going Hunter's going ham right now. All right, we'll play one more match just for funsies, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> wow, it's a loud one. that dogs can dream right why is that crazy because it's like they have that level of thought wow you think a well that's a good hand you think a, a living being having a, a certain level of thought is crazy I'm just saying it's wow. cool 
Well, I guess we'll ship the Valorous stance. Get him, dog. I wonder if they could hear that. You can hear him say, get him, dog? No. <laughs> I mean, if they could hear the hunter. Oh, yeah, I think that's been proven, right? It's been proven, yeah, scientifically. It's been... <laughs> it's been... <laughs> oh. Andrew Yang is going to save us from the robots. Well, it doesn't matter if we light it, if we burn ourselves to death, which we're currently doing. We hear the good boy. Nice. I'm playing against Mobius. Like like Mobius strip? Yeah. Well, oh, this is the weird colorless deck. That's a lot of damage. What? Wow. Ghost Fireblade? Good gravy. Did you just fart? No, that was a bird. Oh, that was coming up. I can hear it. What if I bork this dude and I'm like, you'll you never hurt him? anybody ever again. <laughs> what if I bork this dude? Uh... Does that mean does that mean something else? <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, like the qualifications for what I'm looking for, it can kill a four four, it can kill a five five, it's preferably an instant. And it doesn't cost like four thousand mana. Like those are my qualifications. Frank, we have a bag of bagels. Chris took half of a bagel and left the other half in the bag. Send help. <laughs> what a monster. What what else is she gonna do though? I don't see Chris. Chris definitely seems like a half a bagel kind of person. Can you not eat the other half? Let's talk about the other half. What kind of help could be sent for such things? I'm a growing young man. I need a whole bagel. So get a whole bagel then. So take a whole bagel plus. <laughs> you can eat a whole bagel plus her half. That, then you got two and a half. Then you got one and a half bagels. Chris, are there no whole bagels? Was she, did she take the last whole bagel and or she, she like half take it? half of the bagel from each one and then leave only half bagels? That would be weird. Oh, a hope of gear up her. Modern combo. Simeon Spirit Guide into Simeon Spirit Guide into Planes and a Chance for Glory. Boom. Game over. Well, it does end the game. Well, Valor's stance would be good here. That's the world's greatest commander. Of <laughs> Gearper? I don't think we can win here, so I'm just gonna. Oh, they have no cards. That's something right there. Okay, so they take three. We can play this and this. This doesn't do anything, right? Okay, so we die if we 
play this guy, we're attacking with this, 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 and this. They block the this guy, obviously, because it's a Vegas. They take one, two, three, four, five. They go to six. And then we die. That's something. I made a sandwich with two, what? I made a sandwich, what the hell, two, three. S, I made a sandwich with two thirds of the Super Fritz special. I have no idea what you just said, Gamasent. Those are some words right there. Yep, that seems fine. They have no cards? Okay. So at least we can block this and then pump if we'd like. Oh, they're not attacking with the Hope of Gerber? Alright, I'll just take three then and make a guy. Well, Pepper Jack and Mayo is fine by itself. <laughs> he's high. That's why he's eating the sandwich. He needs that. He's, the, he's got those munchies. Well, I only didn't attack with the 5-5. Five, five. Maybe because they're, they're at 10 and we have like a bunch of power on board. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. Because we literally have 10 on board, I guess. I don't know, Michael. I'm no expert, okay? Oh, I forgot about our little landy shandy. Yeah, I'm actually going to, we're definitely chance on goring it because they're going to block here, which means we don't have to give it indestructible. So they take four. Okay, good. Whew. That would have been bad. It's one target, a bunch of attacks. Yeah, we'll just plus two it. I mean, it wouldn't have been terrible, but. Without flying, unfortunately. This looks like Xaxes, my dude. <sighs> Shock seems decent against their tiny little dudes. Terror also seems pretty good here. Huh. Does seem good. Take out a Glorious End, take out an Elspeth. Take out both of these, actually. Yeah, they're real fast. I'm headed to bed, gotta wake up at 5 a.m. Go check, check out, out Justice Strike over Valor's. Oh, that actually seems good, actually. I do like that. Oh, wow. Justice Strike seems great. Thank you so much, dude. That's a great suggestion. Yeah, whatever. This is fine. Actually, Valor Stance kills the things. Ah, we should have left the Valor Stance in, I guess. Oh, well. No, I don't. I would say I, shot kills every creature we've seen. Like, if they try to win soul artifact, it's also very, very good. Hmm. 
This is an interesting hand. I think it's good. Mm, there's oh. no counterplay. What does that even mean? We're not playing counter spells, Michael. We're also on the draw with the Knight of the White Orchid, buddy. That does make it a little better. As we turn out the streets of Mike Beer. I know it's Mike Beer. Justice Strike seems great over Roast and Valor Stance. That kills a lot of things I want to kill. Some seek the way. Make me seek some kind of way. Oh, wow. Wild Slash. Good Lord. Why are you making so many things five fives, my dude? It's a 1 3. Shoot. Awkward. Oh, I kind of like just playing Gideon here, actually. And then just negating that idiot. Because if they play another lane, we still get the knight. <laughs> <coughs> Frank loves a gut shot. I love it. I love your consistency, Luke. Shrapnel brassed you. Hmm. Yeah, I've signed gut shots for ages. Okay, it's getting a little chill in here. <laughs> it's actually pretty decent. Like you do. Okay. Do you remember Muscle Men? Do you remember the toys Muscle Men? Were they stretchy? No. Hmm. I think they had a different name in Japan. Muscle menu. That's racist. <laughs> I didn't play a land because if they play their fourth land, we get to Knight of the Way Orchid. Yeah, we don't gain that much out of, game, out of playing a land either. Yeah, it's like where our hand is is great. So. Um, yeah, let's see if Sacred Foundry. Say no. Play this. Pass the turn. Gingerbread Man. It's the Gingerbread Man. The Gingerbread Man. What's wrong with it? They're going to shrapnel? Oh, are they going to soul? Oh, are they going to? Oh, it's targeting a little gingy. Little gingy dead. Rip food. Rip in gingy. <sighs> I 
Well, we still have to find a win condition here. I do not remember any speculation that there'd be a ginger member planeswalker. Okay. Uh, hey, actually, what if I end the turn here? What's your plan to win the game? Uh, well, I don't. Oh, use Gideon's emblem. Does that work that way? Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I should have played Raise the Alarm first. Yeah, that's bad. I guess it doesn't do much, but make sure you get an emblem, or else we just lose. Okay. Okay. Well, they have no cards, but this guy is now a problem that we mm -hmm. need a way to deal with. If I was on my normal computer, I'd be totally be making photoshopped of muscle men with Mike B's face on them. Wow. Sounds amazing. What is going on here? Yep. Is everyone going to Gideon? Oh, that's fascinating. Might as well kill the mutable, I guess. That's not something that props can fix. God, Gideon's so sad. Legion's landing? Another raise. Mike's alarm. review makes me sleep sleep. What's that Mike's review of? Mm. Oh, Theros Beyond Death Limited? Yeah, that's pretty much my review as well. <laughs> it has not been ideal. <coughs> the Michael B. can. Can he? No, he can't. Yes. Chad's such a Chad. <laughs> I don't even know who Chad is. I think they're referring to Gideon. Why is they ever called Gideon Chad? I don't understand these memes. Because he's a total Chad. What is that? What is a Chad? Explain explain this to me. Like an attractive, popular guy? That's a Chad. Is that a Chad? Like a jock? Yeah, a jock is a Chad. Chad and jock are interchangeable. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we, I forget if these are all like Chance of Glory. We actually just win here. Kithams. Does Chad ask to speak to the manager? I don't know. Probably. Do you think this deck needs card advantage, like something like light up the stage? Maybe. Possibly. Because they just draw what they need. That's not good. Oh, yes, it is. Well, yeah, that's actually that's going to oh, do that's it. Oh, that's brutal. I mean, it's just because they have four creatures now, and we can only block two of them, so. Yep, that was a good draw. Oh, what? That was a mistake, my dude. Oh, I block with the... <laughs> you done messed up, AA1! Because I can make this guy indestructible. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that ability. Oh, wow, that's insane. Because if they attack with both, we can only block this guy and this guy, and we take six and die. <clears throat> I don't know how we win, but... That's how we win. Oh, wow. That's insane.
Well, that's wow. <laughs> that's, uh... Hey, that's pretty good. Wow. Okay, take three. Gideon flips. Um, sure, it doesn't matter. Make him a four-four and get in there for the for the beats. Wow, not too bad. This deck was fun. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. I have a new article going up that I think you should check out about Standard. Uh, it's, it just went up. So definitely check that out. You can also go to Manatraders.com, which is the service that I used to get these cards and uh, borrow them. So definitely check them out. Manatraders.com. You get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the promo code and the link down below. So be sure to use those. Follow on, on Twitch or YouTube or whatever you got to do. And uh, if you guys want to have your own decks critiqued by me and, uh, and played, definitely let me know. You can find out how to do that in the description below. But I think Justice Strike is probably the two of we're looking for instead of Rose and Valorous Stance. And I think that actually is pretty good. Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> it kills all the creatures we wanted to kill. Uh, it kills the 3-1 Flyer. It kills the 4-4, the 5-5, Boros Reckoner. So thank you guys for watching. Monsonster, thank you for the opportunity for playing the deck. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.